नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स हाउ यू ऑल टुडे विल स्टडी चैप्टर एट दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ऑफ क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स सो यू ऑल हैव स्टडीड दैट एनी ऑफ द ट्राइंगल हैज सिक्स पार्ट्स थ्री साइड्स एंड थ्री एंगल्स हैव यू एवर थॉट दैट आउट ऑफ दीज सिक्स पार्ट्स इफ ओनली टू पार्ट्स आर गिवन टू अस स्पेशली वन साइड एंड वन एंगल कैन यू गेट अदर फोर पार्ट्स Give me another answer. You have gone to Delhi to see Kutub Minar. To see Kutub Minar. You are looking at the top of the minar and thinking about the height of the minar. Can you tell the height of the minar without actually measurement? Another question. If you are sitting in your balcony and you are watching a car coming closer to your house. can you tell the distance between the car and your house i think you won't be for getting all these answers you will have to study trigonometry if we go on the word meaning of trigonometry tri means three gon means sides and metri means measurement so trigonometry is that branch of maths which deals with the relationship deals with the study of the relationship between sides and angles of any triangle We'll study about ratios of sides and angles. These are called trigonometric ratios. We call it t ratios also. These six t ratios are sine theta, cos theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cot theta. To understand our topic more clearly, let us take one right angle triangle where at point B, ninety degree is being framed. Other points are A and C. This AB is perpendicular, AC is hypotenuse, and BC is base. So, how to write these formulas? First of all, if we talk about sine theta, sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. You will have to learn all these formulas. Next one is cos theta, that is base upon height. Tan theta is sine theta upon cos theta, so we we'll get perpendicular over base. Fourth one is cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is reciprocal of sine theta. So if sine theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse, cosecant theta will be hypotenuse upon Next is secant theta. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. So here we get value hypotenuse upon base. Cot theta is reciprocal of tangent theta. So we'll write base upon. You may find difficulty in learning these formulas because these are new for you. So you can learn this rhyming. words some people have colored curly brown hair straightened through proper brush brushing continuously how to use it you have to take only first first letters some people have you take only s some people have colored curly brown hair straightened Yes. Through proper brushing, continuously. Now, how to use it? Sine is having value perpendicular over hypotenuse. If you come from this side, cosecant will be having value. Height high hypotenuse upon perpendicular. Cos is having value base upon hypotenuse and reciprocal of cos is secant. It will be having value hypotenuse upon base. Then tangent I have told you is having value perpendicular over base. Reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. Cot that will be base upon. So 
understand the concept more clearly, let us do some examples. In this example, it is given that tangent theta. At place of theta, they have written A. Means the position of theta is at point A. I have drawn this right angle triangle. Here, theta is at position A. It is given that tangent A is 4 upon 3 and we have to find other trigonometric ratios, other 5 trigonometric ratios. Let us see how to do it. If it is given that tangent is 4 upon 3. Now tangent we have learned, tangent is equal to perpendicular upon base according to the formula which I have told you. That means perpendicular is 4 and base is 3. But here it is ratio. So we will say perpendicular equals to 4k and base equals to 3k. These are not the values. This, this is the ratio. So we will be putting a constant in them. 4k and 3. Now using Pythagoras theorem. We will obtain, we are having perpendicular as 4k, base as 3k, we will obtain hypotenuse. So according to Pythagoras theorem, f square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So that means 4k whole square plus 3k whole square, 16k square plus 9k square. Got hypotenuse square as 25k square. So hypotenuse will be plus minus 5k. But since sides can't be negative, so hypotenuse would be 5k. Now perpendicular and base was already given to us. We have obtained hypotenuse. Now we can very easily find our trigonometric ratios. So start with first one, sin A. Sin formula is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Now hypotenuse we got 5k. Perpendicular is 4k. Hypotenuse is 5k. So it is 4k upon 5k. That is 4 upon 5. Next, we will be finding cos. Cos we have learned it is equal to base upon hypotenuse. And base is given to us 3k. So this will be 3k upon 5k. So here we get cancer. Then we got cot. Cot is either according to the formula, it is base upon perpendicular. That is 3k upon 4k. 3 upon 4. Or you can straight away say cot is reciprocal of tangent. So take value from here also. Cosecant. Cosecant is either you can say cosecant is reciprocal of sine. You will get your value. Or through the formula it will be hypotenuse upon perpendicular. So 5k upon 4k when we would be 5 upon 4. Then comes the term of secant theta. Secant theta either as a reciprocal of here theta they take an a. Either reverse of cos or by the formula we will be getting h upon b that is 5 upon 3. So we have obtained all the key ratios to a triangle ACB Right angled at C, in which AB is 29. Let us draw right angle triangle. Now at 90 position, they are saying C is to be there. Rest A and B you can write anywhere. They say AB is 29 unit. Then BC is 21 units. 
AC is not known to us and we have to find cos square theta and sin square theta. So first of all we will have to obtain the values of cos theta and sin theta. For cos theta we have learnt formula of cos theta is base upon hypotenuse. Here base is 21, hypotenuse is 29. You will get your value 21 upon 29. Now I have not taken A because ratio was not given, actual values were given to us. Now cos theta value I have obtained very easily, but what about sin theta? Sin theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse, but perpendicular is not here. So we first of all we will obtain perpendicular. How to get perpendicular? Again, using Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square plus base square. Now hypotenuse is given to be 29 square. 29. So we'll write 29 square. Perpendicular is not known and base is 21. Square of 29 is 841. Square of 21 is 441. Subtraction will give us 400. So perpendicular comes out to be 20. Again we have taken only positive value because side can't be negative. Now we have obtained, again it will be 21. So we have obtained the value of perpendicular. Now we can fill here and can get the value of sine theta. Perpendicular 20 and hypotenuse is 29. So we have obtained cos theta as 21 upon 29 and sine theta as 20 upon 29. But our question says find out cos square theta plus sine square theta. Cos square theta plus sine square theta. Put in the values 21 upon 29 square. And sign we have got 20. Quadrant version square was there, so written square. 441 upon 841, then 400 upon 841. Solving by LCM, we get 841 upon 841, and after cancellation, we get answer as 